Figures from the Ministry of Agriculture show that around $62 million of poultry products are imported into Grenada annually, and the poultry farmers, and more particularly the Poultry Association, wants a greater share of that market. The Grenada Association is taking steps to increase its earnings by working with government to increase duties on what it calls frozen bone in chicken imported from various countries. The association is following the lead of the South African Poultry Association, which this year worked with the government there to impose anti-dumping duties of between 3.86% and 7.3.33% on chicken imports from Germany, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. Joshua Lewis, strategic manager for the local poultry association, says they are hoping the implementation of a poultry policy can address the situation. We're hoping that... Um what will happen is that um, for every hundred um, poultry um, that is imported into Grenada, the local producer will get a percentage of that. So if an importer is bringing in a hundred, they will have to say, take, um, the figure hasn't been agreed yet, 20 or 30 of that hundred from the local producer. What that will mean is finally there'll be an organized market for local producer. Uh, the local producer will have the confidence now to actually produce knowing that the chicken wouldn't stay on the shelf uh, and rotten really. Meanwhile, Lewis, who also addressed the scarcity of eggs on the local market for Christmas, blames the shortage on poor planning by retailers and supermarkets. He says the association has mapped out its priority areas for 2016. We've been negotiating um, with Grenlec to ensure that in order to make our farmers more competitive, that they get an allocation of renewable energy um, for the farmers so that they can use more uh, technologically advanced um, growing methods in, in, into the industry. We hope that um, we will have um, uh, a hatchery um, set up. Um, we've got um, funding for a hatchery. So that's the second goal. And um, the major bit that we hope that we can achieve this year is a centralized um, processing facility whereby we can um, essentially buy all the products from the farmers and essentially process it and uh, sell it on because farmers have been crying out for years that they don't want to be processing they just want to grow the birds and somebody buy it and process it and sell it and distribute it at present, the consultation process on the poultry policy is in its final stage and the association and government is hoping that it would be fully implemented by March 2016. International trade rules indicate that dumping occurs where companies export their goods to foreign markets at prices lower than what they charge for the same product in their home market. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.